Over 800 wrestlers came to Budapest with one goal in mind, to leave as a world champion. 27 gold medals were previously claim claimed. Tonight, three up were up for grabs. The Russian Federation left with a pair of, or excuse me, a trio of gold medals on the ninth and final day here in Budapest, Hungary. I'm Eric Wonowski. You're watching the post-final show for day nine. This wraps up the world championships. So I mentioned three gold medals up for grabs, all claimed by Russian wrestlers. They went six for six in the Greco-Roman finals. They were Alexander Chikurkin, it was Musov Evloev, and Adam, or excuse me, Sergei Semenov claiming gold medals tonight. So let's start with 77 kilograms, where it was Alexander Chikurkin of the Russian Federation taking on Thomas Lorenz out of Hungary, the 2017 world runner-up. A passivity call for each wrestler left to score one apiece. And then arguably the the change of the match came when Thomas Lorenz got elbowed in the pass or in the parterre position, ended up giving up one point for a failed challenge. So that brought the score to two to one, and then a step out for Chikirkin left the, the score, which ultimately ended up gave him the match three to one. Uh, like I said, change of the match came with the elbow, and after the match I said to uh, Lorenz what was up with the elbow, and he said, I think I broke my orbital bone, so something on his face may have been broke. He said he is in extreme pain at the moment. That was after the bout, and also I said to him, uh, Chikirkin, I should uh, say that Chikirkin was not available for interview after, but uh, back to Lorenz. After the match, he said, you know, this is extremely difficult. I've taken twice second back to back and I can't even look forward uh, after taking second for a second time in front of my home country. Uh, but he kept going back to that broken orbital bone. That was Thomas Lorenz taking second place for Hungary. Uh, and another thing to think about after Chikirkin wins this gold medal, Chikirkin took over the spot at 77 kilograms just weeks ago after two-time Olympic champion Roman Vlasov had to pull out of the tournament due to a knee injury. So looking forward, if you're the Russian Federation, to 2019, you don't only have in the waiting two-time Olympic champion Roman Vlasov, but now you have Alexander Chikirkin, the defending world champion. So what do you do moving forward? That's at 77 kilograms. Before we jump to 97, let's take a look at the medalists here at the world championships at 77 kgs. There they are. Let's jump to 97 kilograms, where Musov Evloyev of the Russian Federation claimed their second gold medal of the night. He trailed 1-0 to zero on passivity and then got a takedown and a passivity of his own, jumped to a four-point throw in a reversal. That brought the score to 7-2. to two. So he took second place last year, lost to uh, Artur Alexanian out of Armenia, the four-time reigning world and Olympic champion. Defeated him in the semifinals, and I mentioned Artur Alexanian, I should say, he was uh, in the bronze medal bout, did not show up, so he leaves with a fifth-place finish. Doesn't even come to the mat, so we're going to find out what happened to Alex Anion. But like I said, last year, it was Avloyev losing to Alex Anion, taking second place. This year, he upgrades his medal to a gold medal and leaves Budapest as one of the Greco-Roman champions. Uh, let's move to 130 kilograms. Actually, before we do that, jump to the medals for 97 kgs. Now that that's done, we're going to wrap things up with 130 kilograms, where it was Adam Kuhn out of the United States taking on Sergei Semenov of the Russian Federation. Uh, this match was quick. It was the first gold medal bout of the night as we circled back 277 for Thomas Lorenz of Hungary, uh, but it was 69 second, the technical fall for Sergei Semenov over Adam Kuhn Started the match with the step out, picked up two massive four-point throws, and Kuhn looked lost from the beginning. Before the match, the, it, I'm using Kuhn's words. He said, we wrestled at the Junior World Championships a couple of years ago, and Semenov throttled me. Tonight, he throttled him again, a 9 to nothing victory 
and that gave Russia their sixth overall gold medal of Greco-Roman. And quickly, I'm going to take a look at my notes because you can't miss anybody that was on the top half of this bracket for Sergei Semenov. On the top half, it was three-time world champion Riza Kayalop. It was two-time world champion Heki Nabi. It was Oscar Pinto Hines, two-time world bronze medalist. Yasmani Acosta, world bronze medalist. Zvadi Petradze, five-time age-level world champion. And Alexander Chernetsky, a world bronze medalist all on the top half of the bracket, and Sergei Semenov navigated that bracket flawlessly. So you don't say, in wrestling, you can't really say he deserved the medal. There's no moral victories in wrestling. But if somebody was to earn a gold medal here throughout the World Championships, it had to be Sergei Semenov defeating the top half of that bracket and then to go on to pick up the nine to nothing technical superiority victory over Adam Kuhn, who had came in to the finals, picking up four straight falls. Not many heavyweights were able to do though, do that in their previous world championships. So hats off to Adam Kuhn. He takes second place. Uh, let's take a look at the medal, the medalists for 130 kilograms. There they are. And wrapping things up, once again, I touched on it. Russia goes six for six in gold medal bouts. It was Sergei Emelin, it was Stefan Marianyan, Arturim Surkov, Musa Evloev, Sergei Semenov, and Alexander Chakurkin. They outscored their gold medal opponents 42 to seven en route to six gold medals. That is impressive. They left here with not only the Greco-Roman title, but the freestyle world title as well on the team race and the women's wrestling Gold medal as a team went to Japan. So congratulations to the 30 individual champions and the three team champions. Uh, another thing we can touch on really quick. My last note was 2017, Russia had zero gold medalists in Greco-Roman. So from zero in 2017 to 18 to have six gold medalists vastly improved from the Russian Federation side. That's going to do it for our coverage of the 2018 World Championships, November 12th through the 18th in Bucharest, Romania. You can catch all the action of the 2018 U23 World Championships, which will be live on unitedworldwrestling.org. For news, for highlights, for behind-the-scenes documentaries, make sure you're checking out Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's at Wrestling on Twitter and uh, at... United World Wrestling on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. That's going to do it for our coverage for the 2018 World Championships. Astana, Kazakhstan, you're up next. For Mark Berman, our producer, I'm Eric Olanowski. We'll see you next year.